great artists. It's an admission free museum and the Rar West Art Museum brings us some really incredible exhibits. Yeah, Jordan is live exploring the current installation designed to honor American troops. Good morning. Well, you guys know you get to the lakeshore, Manitowoc and the surrounding area, and you always see a bunch of naval history or just history of, you know, ports and, and boats in general. And we got naval history here today. And Greg, joining me from the Royal West, is left-handed. I wanted to... <laughs> Here, high five. Uh, yeah. Left handed high, high five. Congrats on your day, first Thank of all. Thank you, boy. <laughs> I've been waiting all year for this. <laughs> Outside of your birthday. And secondly, let's talk about this exhibit that's, uh, that's did you just put this up? Or, We've or? had this up all summer, and okay. we have it up until uh, mid September. Okay. And it's the naval art of Thomas Hart Benton. This okay. is an exhibit of artwork loaned to us by the U.S. Navy. U.S. Navy, people don't know this, have a huge collection of artwork. They've been collecting art really since we've had a Navy. Really? I had no idea. And for the past six years, we've had a great relationship, a working relationship with the Navy. So every other year, we bring in an art exhibit that is on loan from the Navy itself. Yeah, and all these photos, you see it there. Thomas Hart Benton on every single one of them. You know, who is this guy? You know, what did he do? Yeah, a lot of our exhibits won't be just one artist, but this one is because Thomas Hart Benton was an amazing American artist. Mm -hmm. He was working during the middle part of the 20th century, and he's best known as a muralist. He would create huge murals. Uh, public murals in schools, in churches, uh, in businesses, mm -hmm. all around the Midwest. And he's part of a school called the Regionalism School. And you can see right behind us and some of the paintings that are around us, he, he wanted to uh, showcase people, the, the everyday person, yeah. but kind of glorify them. So he was trained in kind of the traditional uh, Greek style of artwork, and, but he would, uh, he would depict people in the Midwest, farmers, mm -hmm manufacturers and the idea was he wanted to elevate everyday work mm -hmm. and that was a natural fit when uh, World War II broke out for him to yeah. do some work with the Navy. Exactly we have a bunch of people depicted right here but you were telling me this is a really interesting story behind these people. Well it's an amazing story Benton himself was a veteran of World War I okay. so when World War II broke out he uh, dedicated himself to paint and depict the men and women who were fighting the war. And in this case, he was able to board the USS Dorado, which okay. is a, a okay. submarine that was built in Groton, Connecticut, but very much like the submarine, same type of sub that was built here in Manitowoc. Yeah. He was on the Dorado for a few weeks, uh, sketching the guys and really depicting them yeah. because the Navy wanted to uh, document uh, yeah. the, the war effort. Literally meeting those guys in the painting. Literally, but something these are the guys that he knew. Yeah. He got off the ship about two weeks after he left the USS Dorado. It was sunk. So oh. if, if you can pan back to some of these yeah. oil paintings, he was wow. painting these with the knowledge, because he had sketched these guys, but the finished painting happens in the studio. So he knew that these guys were gone. Wow. And this was his final memorial to them. And there's a sister sub that was very similar to this right here in Manitoba. That's right. The USS Dorado was built in Groton, Connecticut. Its sister ship, the USS Cobia, was also built in Groton. And that's the, the submarine that we have right here in Manitowoc that you can tour. So you can go to the Maritime Museum, tour the USS Cobia, come up here to the Rar West Art Museum, and see some of the, the uh, wonderful artwork. Certainly a powerful memorial mm -hmm. to the dedication of our naval men. Very cool. Awesome stories here, but I'm going to get my hands dirty with some art a little bit later. Stay tuned. Okay, always fun. Thanks, Jordan.